Thank you. The topic of my research paper is the Vedic notion of Hindu in relation to the creation of the universe. Friends, every day, even in modern world, even in scientific world, we come across many theories related to the origin of the universe. But in fact, still it is a puzzling mystery for the scientists of the modern world. Every day the scientists they claim to bring out a new theory and they condemn the previous one and they propound their own theory. But it is amazing that in remote past, the Vedic shares were in position to bring out a very concrete, convincing and comprehensive theory of cosmology. At the beginning, the Vedic shares noticed the presence of many natural forces helping them for their survival. They kept on pondering on their subject and later on they concluded that all these natural forces are governed by a single unified infinite energy. They term it as Brahman. Brahman means it was singular. Later on, they thought that this creation is the, done by one single Brahman and that Brahman is uh, omnipresent, omnipotent. According to Indian theory, the creation of the universe, neither it is expansion nor it is extension. It is just the manifestation of the unified, unified, infinite energy. This theory got enhanced later on. And in Rig Veda, we find many mantras bringing out the theories of the creation. But in Rig Veda, that's a mantra of Rig Veda, we have few convincing theories. The Purush Sukta, the Hiragabha Sukta, and Nasadiya Sukta. According to Purush Sukta, Virat Purush conducts himself in a limited space and through sacrifice, he brought out the world. Sacrifice should be taken as the collapse of the previous stage and coming to the new one. Second, Hirani Garbe. Hirani means light. Garbe means cavity. And cavity, the smallest page, which has potentiality of bearing the whole universe. The third is Nasadi Sukta, which is quite mature. Something came out of nothing. What was this nothing? What was something? Nothing means it's not negative. Nothing means that a stage was not, cannot be acknowledged or cannot be defined. The water can be used, water can be termed as the primal material for the creation. All these theories, they propound that the creation came out of single energy. The concept of Bindu got its origin in all these mantras. Bindu had a technical meaning. In Vedic literature, it has been taken in much care, but the th concept of Bindu got more mag magnified in Shayu and Shakta literature of South India and Kashmir. According to Sharda Tana, first came the Nityananda, the pure consciousness, and then the Nath, and the Bindu was the second stage of the manifestation. Bindu, it has been defined in many ways. Bindu is the concentration of the light and sound in a diffuse form, or you can say Bindu is the condensed energy, or you can say Bindu is the active principle of the creation. Bindu, the concept of Bindu was taken in different manner by different thinkers of India. 
ಶೈವನ ಶಾಕ್ತ ಲಿಟ್ರೇಚರ್ ವೇರ್ ಶಿವ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಯುನಿಫೈಡ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ನಾದ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಬಿಂದು ಬಿಂದು ಗಾಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಥ್ರೀ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಬೀಜ ಬಿಂದು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾದ್ according to shankaracharya the symmetry was broken by kal and kal should be taken as the power of unified god which he kept on providing to all the manifestations coming later on vindu should be taken as the composition of all the elements which are needed for the creation of the universe in other words you may say that vindu contained the elementary particles particles subatomic particles and even molecules and even bio molecules bindu was something like a person in great sleep unconscious getting up and bringing back his memory bindu was something at the oil coming out of seed and thus the bindu became the very important component of creation later on bindu got detailed study with dif- different thinkers of india bindu stands at the junction of at one side the plain divine and the other side the visible world and in that way it becomes very very popular concept of creation vindu it it is it is three manifestations nada vindu and bija nada is dominated by shiva tattva while bindu is the combination of both and bija remains only with it. prakriti this triangle is very very important because tantra literature they use it as kundalini in that way we see that the different ideas produced through the concept of bindu had much more significance in the coming world for no knowing the origin of the creation this uh, got more studied it it has more studies as a uh, later on it was by abhinav gupta by vajracharya it was recognized as the notice as the notice point of all the alphabets right starting from a to h so we see that all the concepts related to bindu one thing is very very clear that bindu defines bindu has been taken as a diffused light and sound bindu is the active principle bindu is creative principle kriya shakti and bindu is the starting point of the physical world as we come down to the scientific analysis in relation to the modern scientific inventions we see that lots of similarity you find between the concept of bindu and modern theories related to creation according to thermodynamic principle energy neither it can be produced nor it can be finished it only can be transformed so we can see that the energy which was produced by bindu the energy which was produced by brahman never got over and it continued right from morning from early life to the end nowadays we have two theories related to origin of universe the quantum principle and big bang according to quantum principle according to planck the light or any other classical waves can be emitted or absorbed only in a discrete quanta whose energy is proportional to their frequency each quantum had a 
certain energy. And it proves that the manifestation doesn't came out of sudden, it was in steps. The energy was released in steps, not all at a time. The second theory which we would like to propose is of Ellen Arthur, the Nobel laureate, who brought the theory of entangled particles. He proved that the pair of proton or electron became entangled and remain connected even in being separate by vast distance. So we can see that there is some relation between all the particles of scattered throughout the universe and they belong to the same energy. They are the output of the same energy. According to Roger Plain, consciousness is a field of infinite energy. The physical reality takes place only in the collapse of the previous stage and to the new stage. Consciousness can never be denied, though it's in an abstract form, but we have to recognize it. The creation is an infinite series of Big Bang and Big Crunch. So now it is a high time for us to go to a comparative study of Indian thought of, thoughts of creation with the modern scientific techniques, the modern scientific theories present nowadays. Thank you.